Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll teach you how to change the background color of Red View Row using Row Data Bond event in HP.NET. So let's start. First, I'm adding a Red View control. Now I am adding on row data bounce event handler to the grid view. This event will be used to change the background color of the grid view. Now I am adding two bound fill columns. This is done. Our grid view is ready. Let's move to the code behind. We'll start by adding the namespaces. First, the namespace for the data table. Second, the namespace for the color graph. Now, inside the page load event, we'll write the code to populate the grid view control. Now, I'm creating the data table object. I am defining the columns in the data table. Now I'm adding some rows with some dummy values. Now this data table will be used to populate the grid view. So we'll assign it to the data source property of the grid view. This is done. Now, let's move to the second part, which is row data bound event handler. Here we'll have the logic to change the color of the grid view row based on the value of the quantity.
here I am adding a condition for checking the row type. If this event is executed for all the rows, including the header row and the footer row. So since we only want to change the color of the data rows, we will add the condition that only if data row, then only execute the particular code. So here I have defined the quantity variable in which I am fetching the value of the quantity cell and converting it to integer. Now this is the for loop. Now this for loop will execute over all the cells of the grid view row. Since we want to change the background color of complete row, so we will actually change the background color of every cell present in the grid view row. Now this is the first condition, if quantity is 0, then the cell background color is set to red. Now this is the second condition, if quantity greater than 0, then quantity less than equal to 50, then the cell background color is set to yellow. So basically the first one is high alert, the second one is moderate alert while the third one will be actually the quantity is quite enough and there is no need to worry. So the third condition is if the quantity is greater than 50, and the quantity is less than equal to 100. Orange. So our row data bond event handler is completed. Now we can now execute the code and see it in action. So as you can see, the grid view rows have been highlighted in different colors, red, yellow and orange. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon.